everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the reverse single crochet spike stitch. This uh, stitch you can see here in front of you. It's quite an interesting stitch to look at. It's also quite dense in its makeup because you're working these rows and rows of spike stitches. This is the back of the fabric and then this is the front of the fabric. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of a worsted weight cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook and links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how you would use this stitch down in the comments. And uh, take a look around at some of the other stitch tutorials that you'll find here on my channel. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So start by making your slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation can chain can be any number of stitches for this pattern. So today I'm going to work a total of 20 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, row one, single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, and single crochet into that first sit stitch and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. For row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, Draw up a loop and draw it through that loop on your hook. Slip stitch into the first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. Slip stitch into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. For row three, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a row of reverse single crochet spike stitches. Beginning with our first spike stitch being worked in between the chain one and the first single crochet two rows below. So we're working over top of this row of slip stitches. Insert your hook into that space yarn under so you're going to bring your yarn under your hook grab a hold of it and pull through it's really important that you work that yarn under it's going to give you that unique look on the front then yarn over and pull through two stitches or two loops so that's your first reverse uh, single crochet spike stitch you're going to continue to work the reverse single crochet spike stitches between each of the stitches all the way across. So next, skip that next stitch into that space between the next two stitches, insert your hook, yarn under, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Repeat that all the way across, being careful not to skip any of the spaces in between. So you're just inserting your hook under that row of slip stitches and working over top of it. This is one of the reasons why this stitch is so thick and so dense because you're working over those slip stitches. So continue working the reverse single crochet stitches all the way across. When you come to your final space in between your two stitches, your last one has just worked right in between. Chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat those last two rows. 
So your row four will be a slip stitch into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. And then your row five working those reverse single crochet stitches, that first one being in between the chain one and that first single crochet. I'm just going to continue working across with my slip stitches and then I will show you that once more. So continue working your slip stitches in each stitch all the way across. Chain one and turn your work. You're now ready to begin another row of your reverse single crochet stitches. Your first one being worked into the space in between the chain one and the first stitch. Reverse single crochet being sure to yarn under. Continue that all the way across. Chain one, turn your work, slip stitch across, and that's all there is to working this reverse single crochet spike stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I can't wait to see you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.